There was no red wave, <laughs> except in Florida. Governor DeSantis took the state by 20 points. He won heavily Democrat Miami-Dade County. He led the Republican Party to victory in every statewide race. With a win like this, Ron DeSantis is now considered presidential material. He's surely the de facto leader of the Republican Party. Look at the front page of today's New York Post. Young GOP star romps to victory in Florida, the future. He won on national issues. Freedom, education, low taxes, school choice, and yes, the end of wokeism. That's an attractive platform almost anywhere in the country. And then there's Donald Trump, the other side of the Republican Party. He resents DeSantis being in the spotlight. He claims DeSantis won on the back of Trump's endorsement. He doesn't want him to run for the presidency. He doesn't want anyone to challenge his own run. He employed a classic Trump tactic, a personal threat. In remarks published in the Wall Street Journal, he said, quote, if he did run, that's DeSantis, I will tell you things about him that won't be very flattering. That's a smear. If there is a Trump-DeSantis contest, it will be between forward-looking landslide winner and backward-looking former president who cannot accept his loss. Florida is the turning point for the Republican Party. Second hour of Arnie just getting started.